Hello everyone, this is Amish from digitalbrainbase.com. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add the Claude API to Open Web UI. Now, there are a couple of reasons why we want to do this. First, because we have all of our prompts, functions, and pipelines on Open Web UI. So it just makes things really easy. The second reason is because Claude has a lot of demand, especially recently, especially in the mornings. So I keep running into these rate limiting issues. Now, if I use the API, I don't have the same issues anymore. So we can simply call the Cloud API into Open Web UI and we can use it just like how we would normally use it. So first, let me show you what that looks like. Here, if I, in the dropdown, I can see that I have the three Anthropic Cloud models, the Opus, the Haiku, which is the small one, and then the Sonnet, which is the latest Sonnet model. So if I was to click this one and then just ask it to give me some ideas, we can see here that we get that response from the Cloud model. Now, how did I set this up? Well, I simply used a function that I found from Open Web UI. So if you go over to Open Web UI, just search on the functions page. The one that I selected was Anthropic. So if you click this, you can see here that's the Anthropic Manifold Pipeline. All you would do is you would select Get. Now here, what you would just simply import to Open Web UI and there are a couple of things that I did or uh, things that I edited in this function. So I didn't want all of these models included in Open Web UI. I only wanted to use the main ones or the latest ones. So what I did was I simply canceled this line or deleted this line. I also deleted this line. Uh, I deleted this line and then this line. So basically I just kept the latest versions of Opus, Haiku, and Sonnet. Once I did that, I simply hit save. Now, once you save the function, the second thing that you'll have to do is you'll need to add the uh, API key. Now to get the Cloud API key, you'll first have to create an account in cloud.ai. Once that's done, you'll go over to your account settings. Here, you will select the API console. Under the API console, you can see that there is a place where I can get API keys. Now it is important to note that in order to get an API key, you'll first have to enable billing. So to do that, you'll simply go over to the billing section, add maybe like a credit or debit card, and then you can add some funds. Here I've added in $25, but if you wanted to, you could also add in $5, that's fine. You can also click on limits to see how much uh, you've used so far. So here I've used only 0.01 .01 out of my uh, limit. And you, if you wanted to, you could also enable some notifications like after you spend more than $3 or $4, on the platform, it's just going to send you an email that, hey, look, you've started to spend a certain amount of money. So once you enable billing, then you can go over to the API section. So what you would do is simply create a key. And then here you can call your key, whatever, like open web UI. Add this and you're going to get an API key. Once you get that key, you would simply copy that. Go back over to open web UI, go to your functions under admin panel functions, click on valves and under valves, you will have an option to just simply paste in your API key from cloud. Once you do that, if you go back to your homepage on open web UI, select this, you will be then able to see all three of these anthropic cloud models. So that's it for this video. I hope that this was insightful. Uh, if it was, then please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, if you have any ideas for future videos or suggestions, then please leave a comment in the comment section below, or you can simply leave or create a post on digitalbrainbase.com. Thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.